This next episode of Overlooked History is about Lady Jane Grey, Queen of England for nine days. Lady Jane Grey was born in 1537 in England. Her great-grandfather was Henry VII, giving her a strong claim to secession. When she was ten, Jane went to live with Thomas Seymour. Seymour was married to Catherine Parr, widow of King Henry VIII. Henry VIII had famously split England for Catholic Church, making England Protestant. When Henry VIII died, his ten-year-old son Edward became Edward VI. Edward struggled with tuberculosis and was not expected to live long. Various Protestant and Catholic groups were plotting to take over the country when Edward died. Lady Jane Grey lived with Seymour and Parr until Parr's death in 1548. Grey was married in an arranged marriage to Lord Guildford Dudley in 1553. Jane's sister and Dudley's sister both married earls at the same time Grey was married. The same year, Edward's health began to fail. His Catholic half-sister Mary was likely to secede him, but she was considered an illegitimate child. Jane's father-in-law, John Dudley, Duke of Northumberland, convinced Edward to make Protestant Jane his heir. When Edward VI died on July 6, 1553, Jane became Queen of England. She was crowned four days later on July 10th. She faced heavy opposition from Mary, who still felt herself heir to the throne. In addition, John Dudley was unpopular at the time, and his involvement in Lady Jane Grey's being named Queen made her unpopular. Many prominent Protestants turned against her in favour of Mary, including Jane's father. On July 19th, Jane was removed as Queen and imprisoned. She was found guilty of treason, but was not executed due to her youth. Later, her father was part of an insurrection led by Thomas Wyatt against Queen Mary, which led to his execution. In addition, Queen Mary ordered Jane's execution, which was carried out on February 12th, 1554. Lady Jane Grey had the shortest reign in English history, and was later considered a Protestant mitre. Her story remains a unique part of Tudor history. Thank you.